Hey everyone, this is James Wilson with MTV Strength Training Systems and I wanted to shoot the short video and ask you a quick question. What's the most important part of your body when it comes to performance? Is it your heart? Is it your lungs, your muscles? All these are extremely important parts of your body, but there's actually another part of your body that's more important than all of these parts, and that's your brain. Now, why is this? Why is your brain the most important part of your body when it comes to performance? Well, the answer is pretty simple. It's because your brain controls everything else. All of these other things, your heart, your lungs, your muscles, all the other parts of your body are essentially dumb. They don't know what to do until your brain tells them what to do. And so knowing how your brain interprets things and understanding how to fashion your training in a way that helps your brain uh, improve your performance is extremely important. There's a, a book uh, that came out quite a while ago. It's called What the Dog Saw by Malcolm Gladwell. And uh, in it, it basically talks about like when you're training a dog, it doesn't matter what you think the dog saw. It matters what the dog saw, what the dog thinks that it saw. And a lot of training problems with dogs come from this disconnect between what the owners think that they're uh, communicating to their dogs and what the dogs are actually interpreting. So if you ever saw that show, uh, The Dog Whisperer, it's basically based on him being able to help people better understand, well, look. This is what the dog actually sees from what you're doing and what it interprets. Now, the reason I'm bringing this up is because your brain is a lot like that dog. It doesn't matter what you think the brain saw. It only matters what the brain saw. And so unless you understand how to set things up to make the brain see what you want it to see so that it, it improves and uh, helps your body improve the ways that you want it to improve, then you can waste a lot of time with your training. And so a lot of this boils down to, again, the understanding of how to improve what's known as your biological power. Your body has four main systems. You've got your, your, neuro, your neurological system, your nervous system. You've got your uh, hormonal system. You've got your metabolic system. And you've got your cardiovascular system. And all of these systems work together to determine both how much power you can create and how efficiently you can create it. So how much gas you got in the tank and, and what your gas efficiency is basically. And so you want to be able to both produce a lot of power and you want to be able to use that power efficiently. Uh, if you get a, a disconnect on one of those two sides, you can start to run into problems. And so understanding again how biological power ultimately determines your performance. But besides that, instead of trying to break down these four systems and trying to attack them individually, understanding how does the brain ultimately control and perceive all of this and how do we set up our training so that we're creating the type of environments both internally and externally so that our, our body and our brain is learning the things that we want it to learn so that it can improve on the trail. And so again, it's a very essential part to you making the most out of your training time. This is the number one reason that I see people get frustrated with the lack of results from their training program. You know, they'll, they'll have a whole list of videos and books and camps and programs and friends and all of these things that they've gotten advice from and they'll have spent hours and hours and all this time trying to improve and they won't see the results that they think that they should be seeing uh, for the time they're putting in. And the number one reason for this is not understanding how to integrate all of these things together as it relates to these four systems that improve biological power and then ultimately how the brain is interpreting and seeing all of this stuff to help make sure that it all translates over to the trail, which is of course the most important part because if you're improving all of these numbers in the gym, but you're not seeing improvements on the trail, then are you really getting better? I would say uh, probably not unless your, your sport is the gym, which ours isn't. So I bring all of this up one, just to, for some fuel for thought to get you thinking as you're going into this off season, What's the most important thing that you need to be considering? And it's your brain. How is your brain going to see and interpret what you're going to be doing this off season in a way that's going to help it improve on the trail when it's time to get back out on the trail and start to, you know, start performing. And so I put together a, uh, a free webinar that I'm holding on Thursday at uh, 10 o'clock mountain time. And you can register for this thing for free. And I'm going to be going over these four systems, giving you practical actionable tips that you can use uh, you know, starting tomorrow with your training program to help improve these four systems 
and then also giving you an overview of kind of how to fit these four systems together in a way that makes sure that you're keeping the brain and how it's interpreting and seeing these things uh, first and foremost to make sure that you're getting the transfer that you want from the trail. So again, you can sign up for this. There'll be a link below this video where you can sign up for this webinar. Again, I uh, hope you'll join me um, on a Thursday at uh, 10 o'clock Mountain Time where I'll be sharing, uh, sharing these tips and things like that. So again, this has been James Wilson with MTB Strength Training Systems. You can check me out at uh, bikejames.com, find some more free tips and info like that here, but hopefully you'll be clicking the link and joining me for the webinar, and I'll get a chance to uh, talk to you more there.